All right, in this example, we are told that DE is parallel to BC. So these two segments, at least these two segments, are parallel to one another. And we are given some side lengths here. So we're told that side length AD is equal to six units, or has length six units. BD has length eight units. These are just lengths, so um, they're not really obeying any order here. AE has nine units, right? And so the question is, what is the measure of EC? So what's the measure of this one? And what we need to do then, let's call this X, right? So call the unknown X. So we're we're going to solve for X here. What we need to do, though, is notice that we have some similar triangles. So because these lines are parallel, uh, DE and BC are parallel, then AB, this segment right here, this line right here, this is a transversal. Right, so this is a transversal to the two parallel lines, and that tells us then that these angles, right, these angles are uh, congruent. So these two angles are congruent. This is uh, corresponding angles of a transversal, congruent angles. On by the same exact argument, but over here on this side, right, AC is also a transversal. And this time, what do we get? Well, we get that these two angles are congruent. And notice that if we look at these larger triangles, if we look at this triangle, I'm really messing up this picture here, but ABC, so triangle ABC and triangle ADE, right, they share the same angle A, so triangle ADE, these share the angle A, and BAC is equal to DAB, DAE, sorry. Um, so those angles are, this angle is shared by both, and so what we see then is that these two triangles must be similar because they have all the same angle measures, right? So they have the same angle, so they are similar triangles, all right? This symbol right here means that they are similar. These are similar. So make sure you understand why these triangles are similar. I didn't write out a proof of this, but you could write out a proof that these two triangles are similar to one another. Once we know they're similar, then we know that corresponding sides, sides, sides have the same ratios, ratios to one another, right? right? So because these are similar, what we know then is that uh, side length AB is to side length AC. So these are the two, the ratios of the sides of the two larger triangles. As side length DA is to side length EA. These ratios must be equal to each other because these are similar triangles, right? Well, let's just plug into this and see what we get. So first of all, um, there's an X in here, right? EC is what we want to solve for, so we want to find EC. Um, how are we going to get it, though? Well, we, we've already called it X, so we just have to solve for X. First of all, AB, the side length AB, is the sum of these two smaller segments. So the side length AB has measure 14, right, 8 plus 6, uh, divided by the side length over here, the side length AC, that's 9 plus our unknown, so 9 plus X on this side. On the other side, so for the for the other, the smaller triangle, the ratio is just DA divided by EA, right, so 6 over 9. And then our job is to solve this for X, right, solve for X, because we've already let x equal the side length that we want, which was AE, right? EC, sorry, EC. So this is the side length for EC. Well, there's a couple ways to do this. If I can find my work, there we go. One way is we can just take the reciprocal, because if these two fractions are equal, then the reciprocals are equal. So the first thing that we can do, so I just wrote this out just using similar triangles and didn't think about uh, what what uh, sides we're going to go where. So we can do this, and then we can multiply through the entire equation by 14 to cancel it from over here, right? So now we have 9 plus x is equal to 9 times 14 over 6. Uh, we can do some more cancellation here just to just to make this easier to reduce. So this can reduce to 3, this can reduce to 7. We took a 3 and a 2 out, so those cancel from the 6. So this side is just equal to 21, and then we get that x must equal 21 minus 9, so x is equal to 12. And so by this argument, with a little bit of algebra at the end, make sure you understand the algebra, but with a little bit of algebra at the end, the side, unknown side length that we were asked about has length 12 units. We use the parallel line, so the properties of transversals of a parallel, 
to show that actually there were two similar triangles here. And then we use the property of similar triangles to actually solve for that missing segment length.